One little quick note before we start working on Word's help is that if you want to expand your page every time you open it up, in other words, you can see that my document doesn't go all the way to the edge. So when I start typing something, it's tiny text, right? Well, if I come up here on the ribbon, click on the View tab, and say that I would like to see the page's width, and not just the 100%, which is the Word's default. See the width is a little bit bigger there. You can see the text a little bit clearer. It's bolder. I like that. Now, again, if I want to make sure that every time I open up a, a new Word document, it always defaults to the actual page's width, well, then all I have to do is I can either come back to the Home tab and expand the uh, Groups Font button, like we did last time when we were setting in the first training video, the overview, Times New Roman is our default font. You can click it here, and this will be your default page width. Or, better yet, if we were on the View tab, another shortcut is double-clicking on this gray little area on the ruler. Well, it's not gray. It's more like a light blue. Double-click. There's another default button. This time it's for the page setup, but it does the same thing. It'll also default the page's width. It'll say, look, you're about to make changes to the normal template. Are you sure you want to always default the page width anytime you open up Microsoft Word? Say yes. Go ahead and close out. I don't want to save it. And I'll open up Word again, and there you go. Now it opens up to the full page width, and I don't get this little tiny view of 100%, which makes my text look smaller. Next, we want to cover over Microsoft Word's Help feature, and it's in the upper right-hand corner. In fact, from previous versions of Word, the Help feature's gotten tinier and tinier. Click on that little question mark here, and there's three things you can do. First of all, you can click on the book here. When you click on the book, it just expands the pane here, the window. And you can click on the links next to the book and read more about, I don't know, activating Microsoft programs here. And then just over to the right, read more about it. Um, the second thing you can do is, well, you can close the book, and you don't see that anymore, is to type in what you're looking for, like printing, and hit enter on the keyboard or click search. After it finds it, it's the same thing. You want to print a file, learn more about it, click on it, it displays it for you. Now, what if you wanted to keep this open here and come over here and start doing your work? It disappears, doesn't it? Down at the bottom, there's my button here for Word Help, and it keeps disappearing. Well, I can keep this up. If I just push in that pin, I can click off of it. It stays in, on top of whatever document I'm working on, so I can read the instructions while I'm actually performing the steps here. Fantastic. Okay, click off in a blank area, and then I can leave that pin in, or I can unpin it if I don't want it to always be on top. And then finally, you can go to the Home button here, which just gives you a bunch of leaks to kind of give you an overview. Um, if you ever have time <laughs> to read all this, you can click on the links and say, hey, what's new? And it gives you all the little other links you can read about. And most of this stuff's going to be online here. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.